This all happened when I was getting my master's degree in the UK. I went there in September of 2016 and left my girlfriend of five and a half years in my country and we wound up breaking up in early December of that same year. Seriously, forget about long distance relationships, but the point is that I had been with this girl for the longest time and now I was single in a foreign country for the first time since I was 17. Mom, I know you watch my videos. Turn it off now, please. Okay? Thank you. I was also playing volleyball there and there was this girl in the women's team of the club I was playing for that was constantly looking at me during practice. I also looked back sometimes. The interesting part here is that neither of us actually ever smiled. We just looked at each other. Seems creepy, doesn't it? Well, I didn't think of it that way back then. Middle of April and there's a big volleyball tournament where I would be playing for my university and things were going pretty well for us. We won a few games, which no one thought we could and I was extremely cocky about that at the time. On the second day of the tournament, in the middle of our matches we had about an hour to rest. There was this one room on one of the schools that we were allowed to stay in and chill, so we did. But there was something oddly satisfying about it. I was playing cards with my friends when I heard a piano being played. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am madly obsessed with playing pianos whenever I find them. I knew I had to search for it, so I left the room and literally followed my ears through the school until I find the room with a single grand piano in it. And guess who was playing it? The girl from the volleyball team. I didn't even know her name by then and I hadn't talked to her once. I go in and compliment her on her piano playing skills, which, to be fair, were pretty good. And she blushes so much I could probably fry an egg on her face from how hot it must have been. We introduce ourselves and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call her Miley. Miley asked me if I too could play the piano and I had the chance to impress her as well. I don't really know piano that well, but there's five songs I play really well simply because I play them all the time and three of them sound quite complicated even though they're not. I might even do a video about these five songs too, but moving on. We talked for the whole hour I had before the match and I found out she didn't even go to university yet. She was 19 and had stayed back a year in school to better her grades, so she didn't even know the university, which was amazing and I wanted to show it to her because it also had some amazing pianos we could play in. It was kind of a date. Next weekend, after all the volleyball things were over, we'd meet at uni and I would show her around. Friday it is, and we meet up at the entrance. I take her everywhere. We play a bit of piano, talk a lot, and finish the tour in a private room I had for me and my editor friends because of the course I was taking. I had learned so much about Miley, and I now knew for sure she wanted the heel. Because no one takes flash on D. F is for flash. Come on, guys. From the corner of my eye while we were talking, I glanced at what was a pretty neat poker set just laying down in that room. We had a bit of time because we both had practice that day, so I asked her if she wanted to play a bit. I picked it up and realized that it was empty. Except for a pack of cards. I look at her and tell her that we have no chips. She actually looked disappointed, and the words simply came out of my mouth. What if we play a game that doesn't need chips? And what's that? She replies. Mm, strip poker? She didn't blush this time. After posing a few issues we could have, like someone coming in in the middle of our game and there being cameras in the room, I was able to convince her it was fine and we started playing. It was the first time I actually played this game for real and I was playing it in a 1v1 with a girl I had met the previous week. And it's not like she was just this random girl I would never have to see again if things went wrong. She played in the women's team of my club, meaning I would have to see her during every practice because we practice alongside each other. If things didn't work out very well, people would know, at least the volleyball people, but to be honest, I didn't really care about it back then. Back to the game. I lost a few rounds, she lost a few rounds, and I was already shoeless and shirtless, whereas she was taking her necklaces and rings off. I called her on her bullshit, and she said we hadn't laid out rules so I couldn't do anything about it other than stop playing. But I was having fun, and even if I was the one ending up naked, things could very easily escalate from that as well. Without being cocky, the truth is my body is pretty muscular and well-defined, being that I work out and eat well rather than McDonald's every other day and sitting on my ass playing League for 12 hours a day. So there I am, in my boxers, she's still wearing everything apart from her coat, but now all her jewelry is gone, meaning the next round she'd have to go for shoes, then socks, and then finally either pants or shirt. Problem is, I lost that same round. So I call it quits. I'm not about to take my boxer shorts off in the room where I had lessons. But I'm feeling pissed off and tell her that she only won because she cheated. And where she got to see me shirtless and pantless, I didn't even see a bit of skin. 
I'm getting dressed and she's genuinely embarrassed about what she'd done. So she asks me, okay, so would you be content if I took off my shirt now? I try to contain my excitement and simply answer, yeah, I guess. She takes her shirt off and those were the first pair of breasts I had seen in a very long time, even if in a bra. In real life, that is, come on. We both get dressed and she asks me if I want to have dinner with her at her place since her parents aren't home. I wanted more than anything to say yes, but I had practice and there was a really important game I wanted to play the next day. I knew I'd have more opportunities with this girl, so I said I couldn't simply skip practice and that she shouldn't either. Almost at that exact moment, I get a message from my coach saying, practice off, see you tomorrow. This seemed like God helping me out at the moment. After whispering thank you in a very low voice, I tell her that apparently I didn't have practice, so I could indeed have dinner with her. As we're going down the stairs to her car, I get another message, but this time it's from a friend of mine telling me I've got to see something, and a video is attached to it. It's a League of Legends video filmed from his cell phone, and something peculiar is happening, even though I can't really put my finger on it. The moment I realize what's happening, I figure out that it's either a bug or a glitch that is killing people in their base. And after a quick Google search, I realize that no one has seen this in the League community and it's happening right now. This was a golden opportunity for a video that I knew lots of people were going to be searching for within the next hours. So this is my situation. On the one hand, I have the clearest opportunity to make a viral video, but I had to do it at the exact moment, or a few hours later all the big YouTubers would already have posted something about it. And on the other hand, there was this very pretty, very sexy girl inviting me to have dinner at her place, specifically because her parents aren't home. What now? I decide I want to do both very badly. So I tell her that I still have to go home to grab food and that I'll be the one cooking for her since I'm not that bad in the kitchen. She's okay with it. And at this point, it's about 7 p.m. I ride my bicycle as fast as I ever did and a ride that usually takes me 25 minutes to make, I did in about 13. As soon as I get home, I start talking to my friend. I get his login information and go inside the game where it all happened. Zareth was killing people from his own base. <laughs> what a thing. Record, cut, edit, export, and upload. By now, it's 8.30, and I was supposed to be at hers by 8. I text her that I'm a bit late, and she replies with, Come quick, getting quite sleepy. No, 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 no. I leave the house and put her address on maps. I had dropped my phone a few weeks prior, and now it had a ghost living in it that would click randomly on the screen sometimes. I had no idea how to get to this girl's place, and here I am riding my bicycle, depending on a messed up phone. I arrive and realize I forgot to bring the food I had promised in the first place. I start riding around her place and search for a grocery store and luckily end up finding one. I wanted to make her my specialty and favorite dish. Steak with white rice. Simple and effective, I guess. There was no meat, so I buy some leek, some cheese, some gluten-free pasta and head over to her place. 9.30. I am one and a half hours late. I ring her doorbell, and after a few seconds where I thought whether I was even in the right place, she answers and invites me in. At this point, I get an email from YouTube telling me my video had been successfully uploaded. I was scared that something might go wrong with it and that I would not be home to fix it and re-upload, but I guess I was lucky then too. I make her dinner, and she barely eats anything, saying she'd already had something to eat, being that I had been so late. So, um, wanna play Never Have I Ever? I've got a few drinks back here. Keep in mind, I only started drinking anything with alcohol in it a few months ago after breaking up with my girlfriend, so I got tipsy very quickly and couldn't handle very heavy stuff. But the only thing she had was vodka and orange juice. I mean, what a terrible thing to drink. How does anyone even like this? I didn't really have an option though. We start playing and after about three rounds of telling awkward light stuff to each other, she pulls a... Never have I ever wanted to sleep with the people playing this game. Now, keep in mind, this is a typical one you say when you're playing this game with a group, because no one will really know who you're referring to. But to say this, when you're playing it 1v1 with someone who's right in front of you, she drinks almost instantly after saying it too. So do I. We smile. A few rounds pass, and she asks me whether we should continue playing the strip poker game we left off in the afternoon. I am honestly out of my mind at this point. Not only had I been drinking something very strong for what I was used to, 
but never had I actually met a girl that would lead the night this way without me having to do much. I say, yeah, because there's not much I could say at this point. So she stands up and goes upstairs to get the playing cards. I use this chance to glance at my phone and the comments on my video are blowing up. I open it and it already has close to 5,000 views in the first two hours of me uploading. That's a record breaker already. Turns out another League streamer by the name of Tobias Fate had encountered another cheating Zareth and decided to search up my video on Google while he streamed. As I predicted. <laughs> I was reading all the comments distracted when a new Miley is standing in front of me. Her hair was loose and she wasn't wearing the purple shirt and jeans anymore. She was now wearing a pink robe. Couldn't find the cards, but I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to bed. Join me if you want. And she proceeds to walk into the dark bedroom. I don't even remember dropping my phone, which was in my hand vibrating with all the comments and likes.